Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, good to see you again. Uh, welcome back. And um, I have some news for you. I actually have two pieces of news that I didn't talk about before. So you remember this guy, Huang Bo Wen? Yeah, we sold him to Kitchi over in Hong Kong for about 3 million RMB. Um, we sold him because he wasn't really happy. He was upset with me for all sorts of reasons. He scored a lot of goals for us, as I know that you have seen because you've watched uh, the matches. We ended up taking a little bit of a loss on him. Uh, 15 goals and 17 appearances. I'm willing to pay, you know, uh, three quarters of a million RMB for that. Um, uh, but we had to sell him because he was so upset and he wasn't training at all. And um, then uh, we also matched that up by selling our captain, Fan Xiang. Now, the truth about Fan Xiang is that he really wasn't uh, the yeah, player that he once was. Yeah, he's a natural leader, likes big matches, fairly consistent, but um, he doesn't have the ability that he needs to play on our team, and he wasn't going to start any more games. And so they came in with an offer, $3.25 million, and I took it. And uh, so with that, what has that done to morale here? Well, I'll show you what it's done. Team cohesion is now poor. And when we take a quick look at the hierarchy, now you can see all of this, by the way, on my Substack blog, if you go and take a look. When you look at the hierarchy, yeah, we're not necessarily doing so well. Yejia, by the way, is absolutely livid. He's very upset. I put him out for sale. Um, Eastern, also in Hong Kong, we're going to go in for him, and he wouldn't take the offer. So guess what? We're going to loan him out to our affiliate club, the new affiliate club, Yen Bian uh, Fa Yuan, and um, we'll have him out there until he runs his contract down because I'm not going to let him destroy morale in this squad. That's the way that this is going to work. That's the way he wants to play. That's the way I'm going to play. And now we host uh, uh, Qinghai Olu again. You'll remember Qinghai Olu because uh, we uh, did a huge number on them in our last match. I mean, we scored uh, 10 goals against them. This was the team that we um, absolutely, uh, totally uh, obliterated. You'll remember perhaps that match. It was a couple of uh, weeks ago here in real life time. Um, <clears throat> I had actually forgotten which team it was that we put that uh, big 10 spot on, but no, it was this Qinghai Olu team, and that was on the road too. So I'm expecting a huge win from um, our boys um, and as you can see, Yeji is not going to be on this squad. We do have a little bit of a problem in that we need to make sure that we have enough Chinese players uh, to allow us to uh, continue to uh, field a side according to the rules. Um, and we're getting a lot of young players and especially a lot of young Chinese players so that um, we hopefully will have a good um, cohort of young players who are good enough to play for our squad that's one of the problems that we have, though. We're still far down on the ranks, and um, a lot of the really good players um, that are Chinese are not willing to come to play for us. So we'll see what happens. There's Pak Myung-sung over to Delphi, and he's got the first goal of the match, and uh, that's 17 seconds in. Not quite as uh, quick as uh, Kim Kuk jin was in that one match. Oh, boy, that's probably two weeks ago where he scored after about 14 or 15 seconds. But um, this is about as quick as you can start. Pak Myung-sung is thinking nothing but offense, and he says, hey, Iranian friend, here you go. Dung Hao is there almost ready to uh, knock that one off, but um, instead he just lines it up for Delphi, and um, uh, he's always going to score that one. I mean, Yunus Delphi is just an incredible player. We want to offer a, a quick uh, welcome back, too, by the way, while we're looking at him, to Luciano Para, who was out with an injury for quite some time. There's Wang Tong, and he kicks it over to Paulson, who just barely misses scoring the second goal of the match, and boy, that would have been amazing if we hit that one. And here's Pak Myung Song now with the throw over to Wang Tong. Wang Tong kicks it over and forward over to Jabara. I can't remember if I've talked about Wang Tong or not. I may have talked about him, forgot about it. Um, he's really a uh, defensive uh, central midfielder, sort of an older player. We brought him in mostly because he's Chinese and because he doesn't suck, um, which is one of those uh, uh, patterns you'll see in our uh, uh, in our transfers. We go forward. Zhang Jianyi, who does suck, um, had a pretty bad free kick there. And there's Aang over to Pak Myung Song. Pak Myung Song looks for the uh, cross, can't make it happen. Back to Hall and over to uh, Aang again. And again, he is blocked. Um, but that was a good attempt. And uh, that's the big thing. We want to make sure that we get as many players who are not completely awful and total failures as we can. And uh, especially Chinese players. Hall just lets someone go out for a throw. I'm not quite sure why he did that. I don't understand uh, what he was thinking. But it's all right. We'll look at this uh, replay again really quick. Pak Myung Song always looking for that cross. Hall finally gets it over, and it was a good crossover to Aang, and um, Ching Hai was able to get it out. Still just one nothing. so so much for scoring 10 goals in this match, but I do think that we will win. If we don't win, then heads will certainly roll. Delphi now with the ball over to Para, and here's Para. Welcome him back for goal number 27 of the season. He's still about five goals or so off the pace for the league, the lead in the league. I don't think that he's going to wind up uh, winning that uh, golden boot here in the league. It might happen, but I would be really surprised. But yeah, Para is amazing. 
Rovaglia is not starting today. The uh, assistant manager thought that Rovaglia should have started in place of Delphi, but uh, no, we're going to put our best team out there every single time. Rovaglia, if he gets too upset with me, he can go be on loan to Beijing Fa- or to Yanbian Faiyuan as well. I don't really care. Delphi now, he kicks it back to Wang Tong. And uh, that is uh, Wang Tong's shot is uh, knocked out for a corner, and we have another chance once again at another goal. And here's Hall with the corner. George has it, kicks it up, kicks it forward, and that's knocked out again for another corner. And we'll do it again. And so Hall goes back into position, and he's going to wind up one more time. We're looking for that short corner here, but uh, none of our corner takers are quite good enough to know what that means. And so once again, he kind of knocks it over everyone's head, and that's the end of that. So, uh, so far, so good. 2 nothing Yanbian FC. That's not too bad. Minus 4 degrees here in Yenji. A uh, crowd of just under 20,000, 19,300 and change. Here's Hall once again with another corner. See if he can get this one down, and it's not down quite far enough. And um, it looks like Torres was pushed by Liu Tianquo. That means we're going to get a penalty, and it's going to be Delphi, I think. No, it's Aang with the penalty. So Aang is our penalty taker, and that's the reason why. Man, what a penalty by Aang. Second goal of the season for Dicko Aang. Shows us that he's worth every single penny, whatever it was we paid for him. I don't know what we paid for him, but uh, it was worth it. I'll tell you that much. And uh, Yen Bien FC's up 3-0, and uh, we're starting to roll, baby. Liu Shaoziyang with the goal kick over to Zhang Jianyi. And Zhang Jianyi, who, uh, yeah, his days with our side are probably numbered, uh, kicks it back to Jabara. Over to Pak Myung Song. Pak Myung Song now moves it up all by himself, takes a shot with authority and forces the save. And uh, here we have a corner. And it's Paulsen with the corner, or uh, one of our Norwegian center backs. And he knocks that one up and forward over to Torres. And man, Torres, the thing is that Torres is so big. If you can just hit him, if you can get that corner down far enough, it's likely to go in. There's Jabara, and um, he has another shot sort of from range. Unable to go in, and uh, here comes once again Hall with a, or Wong Tong this time with this corner, um, which tells me we don't really have a player to take the corners from that side, and he's looking for Torres again and just can't get it down far enough, and it's mostly because we don't have very good uh, corner takers. I want to do those in-swinging corners, but we don't have a lot of players who uh, have a uh, left foot that's dominant. They're all right-footed, so I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Pak Myung Song now kicks it forward over to Para, who has a shot on goal from uh, point-blank range and just barely misses it. Look for a second here, not just of the game, but of the half. And uh, boy, we've missed you, Pak Myung Sung. He was out for two weeks on holiday because he felt tired and uh, is looking a lot better now. And it's a real funny thing. You put him out for two weeks and suddenly he's not mad about not starting enough games all of a sudden. You know, all it took was a little vacation. Sort of like saying, hey, why don't you go have some nap time? Um, and uh, we gave Pak Myung Sung his nap time and uh, he feels refreshed. And here's Delphi with the ball back down to Zhang Jianyi. Zhang Jianyi looks forward and he's got a couple of men, doesn't see him. Um, instead, he moves it back over to Wang Tong, and Wang Tong threads the needle over to Jabara. This is going to be a goal. Unable to put it in. That was ridiculous by Jabara. Pak Myung Sung now with another cross, and um, we're just not able to get ahead on it, and um, we win a corner from a wild shot. That was ridiculous by Jabara. He's got to put that one in. I mean, he's just right there. There's nobody in front of him. Hall now with the corner. Hall knocks it forward, and that one's low enough, but uh, he just misses Torres, unfortunately. Torres is also not exactly the best at heading. We just like him because he's really tall. But look at that pass. Jabara with all the space in the world on this, and I I mean, it's all right. Just no finishing. That's the problem, right? If we had the ratings on, you would look at that and say, well, you know, he's got a finishing at like two or something like that, right? That's what it would have been. What is What a first half. We blew him away. Yeah, whatever. All right, Zhang Jianyi, can we put somebody else on for him is my question. Can I put Victor on? No, they're not going to let me, see, because he's not Chinese. So what do we do about this? Do we have a Chinese guy we can bring on somewhere else? We can always bring uh, uh, Zhou Jiancheng on. That's what we're going to do, take off Jabara, and then we can take off the awful Zhang Jianyi, who I really want to sell, put on Victor. And as we've seen before, Joao Victor is an incredible offensive player. He's going to uh, give us a lot of spark and a lot of creativity. And uh, the problem that we have, as I just said, is that we don't have enough good Chinese players uh, to play these positions. They all end up looking pretty poor compared to the other players. And so what do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We work on youth. Zhou Chen Jin Chong now over to Para, and Para scores his second goal of the game easily. He's on side. 28th of the season. Of course, that includes cup matches, and uh, it's 4 nothing now, Yen Bian FC. Talking about youth... Uh, that's been my focus lately. I'm trying to purchase as many good young Chinese players as I can. Again, looking for players who are not inconsistent, not injury prone, and don't have negative personalities. They do exist, and I found quite a few, um, but we need to develop them. We need a little bit of time. 
Um, and Joe, Joao Victor, man, he just barely misses that one, hits the woodwork, and there's another one that hits the woodwork by uh, Delphi, and uh, that winds up being out for a corner, and let's see if we can score fifth here. Victor now, who can actually take corners, knocks it over to Torres, who just barely misses it, and man, Victor was so close to scoring that one, my goodness, and uh, how many times is this going to hit the woodwork? Delphi has a problem with that. He's had a number of shots that have hit uh, against that uh, side of the uh, net, and um, again, it may be a cohesion problem. That might be part of the issue that we have. Dicko Aang now brings it up. Aang moves it up slowly back to Wang Tong. Wang Tong now over to Victor. And this is where you can see Victor and his creativity. Every time he touches, it's exciting. And um, ends up being headed by Aparo over to Delphi, who makes the um, easy, easy goal. 5 nothing now, Yumbi NFC. And this is what we're talking about. So what I was going to say with these young Chinese players is the plan really going forward is eventually you're going to see me get rid of these old guys who don't like big matches or whatever. You're going to see more of these 15, 16-year-olds who have a lot of potential who are going to get some game time. And it'll be like, yeah, okay, so we got to have a Chinese guy on. You know, Okay, we'll have one of these guys on who uh, may not quite be good enough for this level. Give him his game time, have a bunch of good players playing around him and see what he can do. Delphi takes it in now pulls it forward pulls it forward again still always Delphi moves it over to uh Zhou Jian Chong and finds Pak Myung Song in the end over to Hall Hall I'm not sure what that was in his offside no it's a handball rather by uh Zhou Jian Chong Zhou Jian Chong recent signing for us has the one assist today having a good game sure doing a lot better than Zhang Jian Yi who I am either going to sell or I'm just going to release from his contract as soon as the season's over. He hasn't been impressing me as, uh, at all this season. And I paid a lot of money for him. So uh, good thing we have Chairman Guo backing us up. Here's Victor now. Victor takes it up forward, and it's over to Parra looking for the hat trick, and he can't quite get it. We got two guys in a hat trick now. We still got a half hour left. Don't go away. You never know what's going to happen. And uh, I just love watching Joao take this ball forward. And, uh, I mean, things just happen when he's on the pitch. Things just happen when he's out there. We need him starting every game, and that's what we're going to be doing from now on. And Wang Tong now with the free kick. Steps back a little bit, takes it forward. The kick goes up, and it's over to Delphi. He hits the wood again. Again and again and again. It's back to Victor now. And Victor um, makes it happen anyways, and he forces uh, Qinghai into a corner. I mean, that was a little bit of pinball there by Victor. I don't know how he has this kind of vision and this kind of creativity, but it's just amazing to watch this guy. And uh, that, unfortunately, is out for a goal kick. Victor knows that he's offside. He's got that game intelligence. He's got everything that you won. What a signing that was by us. Um, I'm just singing my own praises here. You know how it is. I do that on this channel all the time. Here's Aang now with the cross, looking for Para for the uh, hat trick. Not quite there. And here's Delphi also on a hat trick, and he kicks into the side netting. Delphi's playing like one of those players from FM19, uh, if you remember that, those days when, or FM20. Both those games were like that when guys would kick into the side netting all the time. I thought they fixed that. Well, apparently they fixed that for normal players, but not if you're an Iranian uh, you know, 22-year-old with amazing scoring abilities. And uh, now the wrong team has the ball. The bad guys have the ball now, and they bring it up forward, and Hall takes it straight off of his man. Hall should be playing probably in the championship instead of playing in the whatever league this is. Uh, so Jan Chung trying to get it off his man, unable to do so, and um, it ends up being Qinghai with the ball in midfield, and I'm about to say they are overrunning us in midfield. There's another football manager meme for you. That's what we're all about on this channel, football manager memes, and here comes Wang Tong. Wang Tong takes it forward. And um, he's fouled in the back, and that's a straight red, and that's a kind of a harsh decision, I think. I mean, let's take another look at this, right? I mean, he's basically, he doesn't exactly have a clear path on goal. And, uh, yeah, and I can sort of see it. I mean, it was a one-footed sliding tackle, but I can kind of see it there. A very, very um, cynical tackle there um, on him. So, I mean, we'll take it, whatever. We don't need the help. We're up five uh, goals already. Here I am not really using my bench as usual because we don't really need it. We want to get more game time for Torres. I know he's tired, but um, you can stay out there. Aang now brings it forward, and uh, it is uh, Zhou Jianchong who's got it, and he misses. He's got to be – you got to score that, man. I'm sorry. You got to score that goal. This is the thing. This guy's like – I don't remember how old he is, like 24, 25. You got to be scoring this. If you're going to be on this squad, you got to score that. That's why you're not starting, right? Go back and sit on the bench, man. That's why you're not starting. If you're not going to score that goal, what are you doing here? Torres now over to Victor, and Victor is going to make something happen. You know he is every time he takes it up. And it's back to Wang Tong now. Wang Tong sits on it, looks around a little bit. Back to Torres. Torres now forward again to Victor. You can barely see his name because of the uh, ad boards. I need to take those off again. Back to Wang Tong now. Over to Victor. 
Victor pushes it forward to Dicko Ng, and unfortunately, that's not a goal for Ng. Ng's had a lot of these chances in these last couple of games just right there in front of the goal and can't quite put it in, but uh, it's all right. We'll, uh, we'll deal with it. We'll, we take what we can get. Here's Ng again. Passes it over to Delphi, who's fouled, and the penalty is given. Who will take it? Delphi, Delphi will take it. I would say Delphi or Parra, and Delphi takes it, and he misses the penalty. Embarrassing embarrassment for Delphi, looking for the hat trick, misses the penalty from point-blank range, doesn't even try to get around the kicker, hits it straight into his arms, and that was pretty embarrassing. I got to say that. I got to call him out for that, man. I mean, just look at this, right? You got, you can go left, you can go right, and he just goes straight, and the goalkeeper, um, who probably doesn't have much motion, just sort of sits there on his back and is able to block it. Awful, awful um, penalty. Normally, I take him off, but we're up by five, so I don't really care. I'll give him his game time. Torres now brings it forward over to Aang, and uh, Aang makes a poor pass. Hall, though, goes back and retrieves it. He can go back and get him with the best over to Pak Myung Song and back to Delphi, and he just misses once again. Misses again. How many times is he going to hit the side of the of the net or hit the uh, the crossbar or whatever he's going to hit with it? And there's Victor, as always. I just love watching Joao Victor. I keep saying this. But I love watching this guy run forward like this. I mean, this is just amazing. Every single time he's got the ball, it's time to attack. Pak Myung Song has a little bit of that, right? But when uh, Joao Victor gets the ball, you know what's happening. He's going to run it forward full speed ahead. He doesn't care who's in his way. He doesn't care what's going on. He's going to attack, and that's what we like to see. We want to score goals. And uh, it was Torres there who barely misses that header. I think that was the fourth or the fifth ball that hits off the woodwork for us. This has been an unusual game in that sense. And uh, there have been there has been some talk in the message boards about there being an unusual number of uh, balls hitting the woodwork. And that is exactly what we've been seeing since the latest update. So Sports Interactive, I know you're out there. Um, look into it. Sort it out, SI. And uh, now it is time for who's taking this? Victor taking this corner, too. I guess he's taking it from both sides. Victor up to Torres and just barely, barely misses that one. And um, Torres has had a number of opportunities here to get one in. If I had uh, substituted him, the substitute probably would have had a goal by now. I don't know. It's all right. I'm feeling lazy. I feel like talking today instead of uh, worrying so much about all of that, uh, the proper way to play the game stuff and all of that. Take another look at this one, and Torres is just barely over the goal. Um, but looks good. Good for a young guy. Yen BNFC end up with a win. 5 nothing win. XG of 8.15, which is ridiculous. So uh, how come we didn't score more goals? Zero shots on target for Qinghai, and um, I'm going to have to have a talk with these boys. We need to score more of these goals from these chances. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.